Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Kids Come First. The Northwest ISD Education Foundation presented more than $181,000 in innovative teaching grants to 51 teachers at 18 campuses across the district. The grant brigade was made up of NEF and NISD board members and donors. The brigade traveled around via school bus presenting oversized checks, excitement, and lots of noise. Northwest high school students had the chance to see what it was like to paint with no sight. Just imagine. Artist and author John Bramblett has been blind for more than a decade, but he hasn't let adversity stand in his way. Bramblett developed a fabric art technique allowing him to use his sense of touch to determine color. Northwest high school kids experimented with this technique and heard an important message from a local phenomenon. That's impressive. Speaking of impressive, approximately 2,500 people watched as NISD students K-12 showed off their technology skills at the third annual Techno Expo. There are more than 450 sessions with more than 980 pieces of student work. Check out the conversation on Twitter at hashtag NISD Expo 2013. Dr. Deborah McCune was recently named the principal for the new Elementary 17 located in Roanoke. McCune is the current principal at Beck Elementary School where she has led the school for 13 years. Construction is underway at the new campus and is scheduled to open this August. Building additions have begun at Lakeview and Clara Love Elementary School. There will be additional classrooms added and fine arts areas. All additions are funded through the 2008 bond referendum and are expected to be complete in August. Well, that's it for Kids Come First. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. On the only news show where kids, kids come, come first. first.